Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan review. Today we're going to be reviewing a Bakugan pack, specifically the Bakugan Evolutions. Um, this is the Platinum series and we're going to be doing Nilius. Uh, so I want to try and cover this in detail because this is the new, uh, like the new packs that Bakugan came out with super recently, like within the last couple months. Um, so I wanted to really do a deep dive. Um, so the Nilius design looked cool. I didn't really have a Darkest Nilius. I happened to have this Aquos Nilius that I got for free um, from someone. Now this, I wanted to compare the packaging for the most part. Um, just to show a difference and compare. I don't plan on opening this. I'm probably going to actually sell these uh, So keep a lookout for those. There'll be links in the description if you want to buy any, any of the back gun I have uh, They'll be on eBay and Mercari um, So I'll probably have those on there before this video comes up, but like overall like packaging wise Totally different. I mean, I believe this is two ish three ish years later um, So totally different design now this costed I think it was like $10 and some change or something like that, 10 US dollars and some change, um, which is a lot more, like two bucks more than the re regular packaging, which is like what this would probably cost, about eight bucks. Um, so uh, there is a $2 difference. I, I believe it's mainly because it's made of like metal uh, and they're newer for the most part. So I wanted to just, you know, take a look here. Obviously Nilius is a little different um, in this than that because this is, I'm pretty sure, an evolution. Um, my biggest gripe about these Reboot Bakugan is that the evolutions look so similar. Like you had the, the older Bakugan where like each evolution looked pretty different. Like think of, um, you know, Hydranoid or even the Dragonoids or even Helios' evolutions. They all looked very different. Whereas these, in my opinion, look relatively similar. I mean, the, there are some differences, such as the feet and the amount of heads on Nilius and stuff like that. But, I don't know, overall, if you look at all the reboot Bakugan in like a span, to me, they look very similar, especially Dragonoid. Like, the difference between Dragonoid and Dragonoid Ultra is almost, it's just very similar to me. Um, and again, I'm not an expert on the reboot, so there may be a reason for that, but that's just my big gripe with them. Um, but yeah, overall, like packaging, this Evolutions package looks amazing. Um, getting like close-up shots of all of this artwork was super cool. Um, and I love like the hive kind of beehive pattern they have, this hexagonal pattern. It's way better than, than this, this like dragonoid screaming background here. Um, but yeah, I want to just do a comparison just to show like the packaging differences. Um, that was pretty much all. And then on the back here, um, it just says, you know, Platinum Nilius right up there um, and then it just shows what comes with it and then just uh, pretty much anything else you could probably imagine um, Yeah, another thing I do not like is that it just shows how much B power he has like The older Bakugan and even some of the reboot they don't show this It's usually covered by a gray block of sticker like a gray sticker It's usually covered by a gray sticker or just completely hidden from the uh, the packaging like even this Nilius here this Aquas Nilius. I'm pretty sure the B power is completely hidden um, Let's see Yeah, I, I mean I can't even see it so I don't know that's just one thing I've got kind of not liking about this Packaging here is you immediately know how much power he has which kind of takes some of the excitement out of it I think because um, it was always fun to see how much power you got when you opened it. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, there's not much left to talk about until we get into it. So let's go ahead and pop this guy open. I want to try and keep the package relatively intact. I usually say that with all my videos, but it never ends up actually happening. So I'm just going to kind of tear them out um, and see what I can get out of this. All right, well, that was kind of solid. <laughs> and uh, this, is, this is the core of it, I guess, so... There we go. There we go. Alright. So here we have the cards, which are taped to the back. Uh, pretty classic Bakugan style. We'll take a look at this first. And then we have the Bakugan, which I'll kind of put over to the side here uh, as we go through these cards here. So, we got the typical stuff. Let's see. 
Ooh, that tape is on there. All right. So let's take a look at this first because this is pretty new. And this is what I was trying to find online when I was going to buy this guy. Um, it kind of shows the rarity. Um, and I will do a close-up of this uh, as I'm talking over it just so you can see it. Um, so it, it kind of goes through like the rarest. Like obviously this Prisma Dragonoid Evo Rare is probably the rarest you can probably find. Um, and then it goes through these Nanogon, which I assume are sort of like the um, like Baku Tech and the Baku Nanos. Uh, and then we have just the regular Baku Gon here. Um, so you got stuff like Dragonoid, Nilius, uh, Blitz Fox, and then all the other ones. So Leonidas, uh, let's let's put that right there for a minute. Let's talk about that. Leonidas from the original DS game. Um, that's a huge one, so be on, I'm going to be on the lookout for that. Those are probably going to sell like crazy. Um, so I want to see what they do with that, because uh, that'll be a, an amazing review. Um, even they have Neo Dragonoid here. I'm a Diamond Neo Dragonoid. I'm not sure what the difference is between the original Legacy and the reboot. It's looking like... I'm not sure. Um little bit of a different design and stuff but overall like it's it's tough to say um, but then as we keep going here um, you have the platinums so the platinum diamonds and then the platinums themselves so the one i have is not a diamond let me be very clear i was looking for one but i, I couldn't find it um, but you have the the platinum shark tar uh dragonoid platinum nilius what i have platinum colossus blitz fox warrior whale and then the platinum griswing as well as all the diamond versions of those and then you have the, the Geogen, um, and then they're listed there as well. And um, I'm going to keep this because this is what I want to use as my guide to uh, when I go in and check these out in the stores and stuff. So that'll be going over here in a safe spot. Cores, so we have two of these guys. I, again, I'm not an expert on these whatsoever. Um, but yeah, they're there. So we have those, and then we have cards. Now, I've been told Nilius usually comes... Oh, well, I ruined it. He comes with a, a face card, like a, a character card. So this is Platinum Nilius. This is the card he comes with. Um, pretty good there. 700 B power. Uh, and then it shows, like, these logos and stuff. Awesome artwork. Um, really cool. And then here is the gate card I have, which is pretty funny. Um, I assume this is a reference to the show or something. I haven't watched it, but that is... That's actually a really funny card with them screaming, running from the back of going like that. Um... Wow, it really doesn't give Pyrus, um, Aurelius, or uh, the Ventus much help there. But Aquas, it does, and Darkus. So this is actually a pretty good card for Anilius. It'll double his power, which is pretty nice. Um, solid card. We'll use it to open him as well and play around with him. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop him out, get rid of all this trash. Um, he is pretty tightly put into this uh, little bit of plastic I'm going to try my hardest to get out. Go ahead and snip. Come on. Come on. There we go. In there. There we go. Ooh. All right. So here is Nilius. Platinum Nilius. Super, super cool looking. Standing here like this. So here we have Nilius. Um, he he looks pretty good. Like, totally honest with you. This this is a sick looking back on. Um, he even has this, I guess it might be glow in the dark, I'll check after the video, it probably needs to charge from light or something, um, but he could be glow in the dark, maybe, um, which is really sick, uh, and then of course this, his entire, like everything you see that is pink here is metal, like it's actually heavy metal, um, which I don't know, some of me likes because it's an upgrade from the original heavy metal ring Bakugan. Um, and they definitely are able to hit harder in, in battle and stuff like that. You have a little spot here for uh, any kind of tech you want to add on there, whatever you call it in the new game. So I'm going to try and close him up, uh, see how hard it is. His heads might go down. With, okay, so head goes down first maybe, and then tail, wings, eh. Okay. He is significantly bigger than a regular Bakugan. Let me see. So this is what he looks like size-wise. So 
there. And then let me see, this is just one backer gun I have. This is B2, and this is the Platinum series. So a good a good bit difference. Um, that is rather big. Uh, so that was that's kind of a shock. I expected them to be relatively the same size. But let's go ahead and do a roll. So I can do it first try. Ooh, see that? That's pretty good. <laughs> one more time, that was fun. Oh, close enough. Um, so yeah, I think this, I mean, this is cool. I, I recommend it. Like, if you guys see these Platinum series, I think you should buy them. Um, simply based off the fact that they're larger, they're heavy, they're fun to roll, they're heavy hitters. Um, I'm not sure what this has in store specifically for the reboot game and how that's going to evolve, because I'm not an expert on the reboot game. Um, but in terms of, like, fun and just pure rolling around they're durable i think this is a really cool design it's it's different i think which is good bakugan definitely needs that um the design is different he's much wider which of course i love he's got his heads here um very hydronoid-esque um and then just the the fact that he may be glow in the dark which i still need to check um is super awesome like that is so cool 700 repower which again i'm a little unhappy about them showing it straight on the package um but it is what it is and uh yeah i don't know there seems to be a little bit of paint that's like missed here as well and it's kind of faded it's hard to see in the video but like this should probably be pink and isn't it's more of like a, a fading pink um i'm curious to see how this metal holds up over time as well uh but yeah overall Solid. Really like him. Super sick back of gun. Let me get some more close-ups of him. Yeah. But anyways, guys, that is Nilius. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content like this. My name is Jesse, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.